Heavily pregnant with her children in tow, Marwahid Tefani is among thousands of Ethiopians who fled Tigray. Now in a refugee camp in Sudan, she fears for her unborn child. I'm due to give birth and the doctor has scheduled an operation for me. Now I have passed my due date and conditions are bad. I just want them to examine me with an ultrasound. At least 20,000 Ethiopians have poured over the border and the exodus continues amid a conflict now running into its 13th day. A lot of people died there. I was afraid of the bombs and the strikes. A lot of buildings were blown up. The United Nations has warned of a looming humanitarian disaster in the region. Uh, the situation is very bad, to put it mildly. The, um, there are about 15,000 people here right now who've basically arrived over the last five days. Much more needs to be done. In a major uptick, the violence has now spilled across the international border. The leader of the Tigray region confirming a rocket attack on neighbouring Eritrea's capital. Tigray is the those who attack Tigray will not just attack and return home. We will retaliate while they are here. The Tigrayans accusing Eritrean forces of crossing into Ethiopia and backing federal forces. Ethiopia's Prime Minister tweeting, Ethiopia is more than capable of attaining the objectives of the operation by itself. A spokesperson for the TPLF has told the Associated Press the Ethiopian military is using drones from the United Arab Emirates to help its military offensive, which began on November 4, following an alleged attack by the TPLF on a military base. The UAE has, has been using the port of Assad uh, on the Eritrean coast for its campaign in Yemen, so it has had assets there. The UAE hasn't commented on the report. Once a major political force, the Tigray People's Liberation Front Party was sidelined amid major reforms when Abiy Ahmed came to power in 2018. A peace agreement he brokered with Eritrea, earning him a Nobel Peace Prize last year. But peace is now a far cry for many in Ethiopia, where both the TPLF and Ethiopian troops are accused of carrying out atrocities. Hundreds are reportedly dead on both sides, and many fear a civil war which could destabilise the entire Horn of Africa. Virginia Langerberg, SBS World News.